Hi everybody, it's Laquita. I know it's been a while since I did a video and I've just um, been doing a lot of things. There's just been a lot of changes that have happened in um, my life and so I wasn't able to craft while I had all these things going on and um, I probably would not have been back on to do a video just yet, but I was surprised yesterday um, by getting this sweet little tag in the mail from Jeannie Dreamer. Hi Jeannie and thank you so much. What a pleasant surprise. I've just been away from crafting for so long and it was just um, the perfect thing for me to get this. It was just right on time. It couldn't have been, it couldn't have come at a better time and um, just makes me want to get back in the craft room and craft uh, again. And I, I just, I just can't right now, but I'll get into that in a little bit. But um, I just wanted to share with you this gorgeous tag that Jeannie made for me. She's got it embellished with some pretty uh, lace and then uh, she's got a scallop cut out right there underneath that doily and then that pretty little butterfly which is actually covered in a fabric and then she's added some sweet little acrylic bows on there and then on the back she's just got her name and, and dated it but isn't that a gorgeous paper and Jeannie she surprised me by sending me this happy mail it was you know totally unexpected and um, she also made me this card and it's a little envelope with a little card inside and she was thanking me for this paper pad. So she had a challenge a little while ago and I gave her this, um, I believe it is called Love Story by Prima and as you can see it's a gorgeous, gorgeous paper and so she wanted to make me something out of the paper and so I, I do appreciate it, Jeannie. And it, like I said, it came at the right time. I was just, I've been wanting to craft and I just can't right now. But um, look at how she's she's put another little scallop cut out there underneath that heart. And the heart's covered in a lace. And then she's got a little flower and uh, some little pearl embellishments on there. Some eyelash trim. And then this pretty little pink uh, ribbon across the bottom. Just so adorable. I love them both. Thank you so very much, Jeannie. So very thoughtful. So um, I'll let you look at those while I kind of bring you up to date as to what's been going on, why I have not been um, on YouTube for a little while. My husband and I moved again. And if those of you that have followed me since the beginning of YouTube days for me, you know that I've moved quite a bit and um, it's not something that I'm crazy about doing. I actually didn't mind it when I was younger, but now that I'm in my early 60s, it's getting to be a little bit old. You know, I'm getting, I'm ready to settle down and I knew that when we were in Ohio that we would move one more time. I knew that wasn't our final stop, but I did Think that we were going to be there a little bit longer than a year and a half well you know things changed and um, so we decided to go ahead and move sooner um, so I'm in the Dallas area of Texas now I'm in a suburb called McKinney and our youngest son lives here my husband's youngest brother and his family they live here and we have lots of friends that live here so uh, my husband and I have moved several times back and forth from Texas. Texas is kind of our home base. We got married, moved here. We raised our two boys here. And then after they were college uh, bound, we started our thing of moving. And they were always job related for my husband. And I didn't mind because it's not like I was moving my kids, you know, from school to school or anything. So it was just the two of us. So it was okay. But as I said, it does get a, get to be a little bit old. And, and so anyway, it's kind of like coming back home now. We're back in the Dallas area and glad to be here. And um, 
So um, that's kind of why I've been away from crafting was because of the moving that was going on. And then also after, as soon as we got to Texas, we took a long vacation. So I've been out and about for a while and just got back uh, last week and trying to get settled in because we really weren't here for very long before we left for vacation. So I really have not felt like I'm at home yet. And um, next week I'm actually leaving again to go and stay with my other son. And he's the one that has the grandkids. So I'll be with my grandkids for several weeks. And um, then when I get back from that trip, I will be able to settle down and feel like I'm at home once again. So I haven't really unpacked anything, only the bare minimum of things, just enough to get by with. My craft room probably will not get unpacked while we're here, <clears throat> excuse me, because this is a temporary stop. We decided um, to take our time and figure out what part of the Dallas area we want to be in and and all of that. So um, we're just leasing a, a home for right now and then uh, in a year, I'll be moving again, hopefully to a permanent spot. So that's why I'm not going to unpack everything. It just wouldn't make sense to do all that. So that's kind of what's been going on in my life. And so thank you so much, Jeannie, for thinking about me and sending me that gorgeous tag and card and envelope. And also, Carla, I know you reached out to me and I emailed you back. I'm not sure if you got it or not. So, um, Thank you so much for thinking about me and um, checking on me. And I hope everyone is doing well. And um, so I will be back in about a month. And hopefully I will be um, crafting again. So until then, you all take care. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.